So if you've got a flash video file, you might want to turn it into an MP4 file. It plays better in programs like PowerPoint and uh, Keynote as well. So if you're doing a presentation, you want to put a video in there, this is the way to go. It's also good for just playing back if you've got QuickTime or Windows Media, depending on which computer system you've got. MP4s just play a bit better than flash video files. Flash video files, you might need another bit of software to actually make them play. So they're not really friendly for anything when they're not on the web. So flash video files were for the web. MP4 is for everything, including the web. And we're going to use a program called Handbrake, which you can get from handbrake.fr. And I'm going to show you very quickly how you can use this to create it into an MP4. So when I started Handbrake, you can see I've got it open here. It opens up this dialog box, which is the open file dialog box. So I can choose which file I want. However, it doesn't always do that, depending on how you've set up your preferences. So I've just cancelled that. And if I need to open it, I can just go to source and that brings up the same dialog box here. I'm going to choose this one here, which is a flash video file. You can see it's got .flv at the end here. I'm just going to click on open and it will go through and interpret the file just to analyze it. So it's come up here showing me that I've got this file here, jargon free help. And it's telling me how long it is. There's only one file. If you're ripping a DVD, then it might have different files here. So you would choose the one that you want. I need to choose where I'm going to put it. You can ignore all this angle chapters and so on. That's more for DVDs. I'm just going to choose browse here and I'm going to put it just on my desktop. I'm going to use the same file name and it's going to put .mp4 at the end instead of flv. So I'm just going to hit save there. So it's done that. It's going to make it into an mp4. But one of the things I do is I use the presets down the side here because I find that they do the job very well. This would as well. Admittedly, if I just hit start, which is this button here right now, it would probably do a really good job of it, so you don't need to worry. These presets, um, if they're not displayed here, you can just click on toggle presets and hit it again. It's in this corner here. I tend to find that if I choose it for an iPhone and iPod Touch, it does actually a very good job of the quality and what I want. And then you know it plays on loads of different devices. If you wanted to play on an Android, then you would need to choose that. But the iPhone one actually seems to work across the board on Windows, Apple, and a whole load of devices as well. So choose that and you're pretty much in good hands. You could always create more. You could do different ones, come back and do the same thing over again. So the only thing for me is that I want to change here is this frame rate. I want to change that to 25 frames per second. I'm in the UK and I happen to know that files in the UK, this video that I created was done at 25 frames per second. So I'm just going to change it right there. So now all I really need to do is click on that start button and it would start doing everything here. The constant quality, don't really need to worry about changing that. That will do a very good job of it. You could experiment with the average bitrate, which would give you maybe smaller files if you're finding your files are a bit too big. So you would just click on that. And then if you wanted it to analyze it to get even better quality in a smaller file, you would choose that two pass encoding. I normally just click on that and what I'm going to do is click on start and then we're just going to take a quick look at the end when it's completed as to uh, what's come out the other end. So there you are, it's finished converting the file into an mp4. comes up with this interesting message about putting down your cocktail and there you go, it's done. So I'm just going to click on OK. If I go to my finder or if you're in uh, Windows you can go to my computer and find your file you'll see that I've got it in my desktop here and there it is, it's now an mp4. Just going to quickly play that. There you go, there's my file all done. Okay. So we don't need to watch that now. If you want to know about depth of field, you can go and look at one of my tutorials. So there you are, I used Handbrake to convert a flash video file to an mp4. It's free and really easy to use.